I've got a pro tip for you today about clay soil. Depending on where you are in the US, you may have clay soil underneath your property. Where I am in Texas, there's a lot of parts that have very expansive clays. Today's episode, I wanna give you a quick gauge on how to tell how much clay you might have, and also talk briefly about how that can impact your foundation. So first, let me talk about why expansive clay can be bad. You know, clay soil, because it has an expansive property, can wreak havoc on a foundation. I remodeled a bunch of houses that had slabs that had actually tacoed because that clay soil was exerting pressure on that slab foundation. Clay, because it expands when it's wet and then contracts when it's dry, can exert tremendous forces upon your foundation. And if you know you've got clay soil, your engineer is gonna specifically design your foundation to resist those forces. I wanna give you a quick gauge on how you can tell how much you, you might have on your property. But remember, everything I'm gonna talk about today is no substitute for getting a geotechnical engineer involved in your project before you design or engineer that house so that we can tell how much clay is in there, we can get it tested for its plasticity index, which basically is a gauge for how much it's gonna move. And then we're also gonna be able to tell from that boring whether we have rock and how deep that rock might be. All those things are gonna help your engineer decide what kind of foundation to use. So I've cheated a little bit here on this lot. Instead of using a shovel, we brought in an excavator here. And you can see I'm about three or four feet down from the uh, original grass level. And this is our first indication of what's going on with the strata. You can look here and we've got say the first one or two feet is very black soil. That's what we wanna see, that's great soil. And lots of the country has nothing but black soil. But where I am in Texas, we've got clay soil in a lot of areas. And look how that color changes from black to very tan at about that two foot level. That color change is my first indicator that we've got something going on here. Here's a quick gauge that you can do. Grab some of that clay layer. If it's totally dry, add just a little bit of water to it and drop it in your hands and roll it out. We're basically treating it like Play-Doh here. You can see here, I'm able to take that soil and roll it into a nice thin roll. And if it looks like Play-Doh and acts like Play-Doh, that means we've got a lot of clay in there. The thinner we can roll that before it breaks apart, most likely we've got an even higher level of clay in that soil. And you can see, that's, we've made a really thin one here and it's very sticky, it's holding together really well. This black soil, if we were to do that, it would turn into mud and it wouldn't stick together. So we know we've got a quick gauge that there's some clay here. Stay tuned for a future episode on the foundation we're building actually on this property. And I'm gonna walk you through the steps that we took to resist the expansiveness on this clay and build a foundation that's gonna be around for generations to come. We'll see you next time.